Cape Sunion, Greece. Perched on the headland, surrounded on three sides by the sea, lies the ruins of the Temple of Poseidon, built in 440 BC. The second son of the Titan King, Cronus, Poseidon was worshiped throughout Greece, almost as much as his younger brother, Zeus. Poseidon was the god of the sea. He was also the god of earthquakes and, strangely, horses. When Poseidon was in a good mood, he created new lands out of the sea. He gave uh, calm waters for good voyages. When he was in a bad mood, he destroyed ships and brought storms. Poseidon does rule over the kingdom of the sea. It is envisioned as a kind of a place where people live. And when he comes out of that place, yes, he rides the spectacular kind of like water chariot that is driven by dolphins and he holds on to a really big trident. In Greek mythology, Cronus eats all of his children, except for Zeus, who eventually rescues his siblings, including Poseidon, from the belly of his father. A potion is prepared that makes him heave up all the other uh, siblings of Zeus, and they become the gods of Olympus. But ancient astronaut theorists believe this Greek myth is actually a metaphor for an extraterrestrial event. They believe the notion of gods being vomited up from the belly of their father actually describes mutinous aliens being expelled from the mothership. Any being which is swallowed up into a living creature will not be able to survive for three days. It will die from suffocation and will begin to decay. But what we have here is not a creature, but something else. It could have been an object which was clearly of a man-made or extraterrestrial origin. A mutiny took place. Some of the extraterrestrials, they had sex with wonderful earthly uh, females, women. They were not allowed to do this. So one of these extraterrestrials who were not allowed to go back with the mother spaceship had the name of Poseidon. Poseidon fell in love with a beautiful human girl and he made her pregnant. Poseidon is married, right? He's got a child. He's got some grandchildren, right? There's the whole cast of sea nymphs as well. All of them presumably like live in this place. Poseidon has the power of the deep, the, the unseen place. If you look out at the sea, you see a surface and you're aware there's a whole world below that suggesting powers beyond that which meet the eye.